All right, when some readers of Entertainment Weekly open their magazines next week, they'll get a big surprise. They'll discover characters from U.S. TV programs speaking to them from a wafer-sized video screen built into the page. CBS and Pepsi are trying this out. Could full-motion video ads become a thing of the future? Let's go ask Vera Gibbons. Vera? Pretty cool stuff here. Yeah. It is pretty cool. How it's, does it work? It's really neat. You've got these video ads. They're embedded right into a page of the magazine. This will happen in the September issue. Works essentially like a singing greeting card, which I'm sure you've gotten for various birthdays. You open the magazine, then you turn the page, and the video, which plays in this little tiny screen about the size of your phone, loads. And there you've got 40 minutes of fall TV previews, the primetime lineup right there. That sounds incredibly high tech. It sounds incredibly expensive. How yes. much is this costing? <laughs> it's both high tech and expensive. Yeah. No one's actually disclosing this cost here, but Barry Lowenthal ran the numbers for us. He's from the Media Kitchen. He gives us an estimate saying it's about a $2 million project total, taking into consideration the two markets Entertainment Weekly is targeting New York and LA, very strategically targeting those markets, and the number of subscribers. So, Definitely a lot more expensive than those traditional print ads. I'm going to guess, because I've never seen anything like this before, that these guys are the first ones to do it. They are the first ones to do it, right out of the gates here. First video ad to appear in print. It's a creative, innovative way to reach consumers, reach new viewers. Barry Lowenthal actually thinks it's a very good idea. It comes at a critical time when a video, of course, is our new signature. So what does it say that these companies are doing something that which seems so costly in such a horrible recession, especially for ad spending? Right. I mean, they're, they obviously, you need to get viewers, and that's what's come to here. In the old days, when you took out an ad TV guide, people watched your show. It's a totally different environment today. Everyone's going after viewers, particularly the young demographics, and this is just another way to get them, Matt. That is pretty amazing stuff. Vera Gibbons, thanks very much for that.